Hey guys, I brought you out into the woods with me today. Um, this is my view right now because I want to talk about two topics which are related to the outdoors. One of them is UV protection, which is really, really important. I'm going to um, help you understand why that is the case. And the second thing are these lenses, which I'm going to be reviewing in this video. These are the Zeiss Photofusion lenses with DuraVision flash coating. So enjoy. I've brought you to the beautiful Curden Valley Park, which I'm lucky enough to have right on my doorstep. But there are loads of places like this in the UK. And I think with the advent of COVID, more people are starting to explore areas like this. But not enough people wear sun protection when they go for a walk, for example. I've walked here today and I've passed probably about a dozen people. None of them had a pair of tinted glasses on or sunglasses or anything like that. So in this video, um, I really want to press upon you the importance of UV protection. I'm going to explain why it's important. And I'm also going to explain why these lenses I'm wearing here are a really good way of protecting you from UV and having it built into your glasses. So, Photofusion is not necessarily a new technology. We all know about lenses which go from clear to dark, and in the past they were not the best look, I have to say. But if you're considering lenses which go clear to dark, I think these are the best on the market. Not only do Photofusion lenses go from clear to dark really quickly, but crucially they fade back really quickly as well. But what Zeiss have done with these lenses is they've combined Photofusion with something called DuraVision Flash. And DuraVision Flash is a slightly mirrored coating. It's only a little bit reflective, but it's reflective enough to add a little bit of character to your glasses. You can choose from quite a few different colours, and the lenses will actually reflect that colour, particularly when you're outside in brighter light. So for example, these have the ruby finish on them, but you also have options like sapphire, amber, platinum, all of which can really complete your look when you're choosing your new pair of glasses. But let's get back to the central point. Why is UV protection so important? Let's go on a walk and I'll tell you all about it. So now I found my way out of the woods and into the daylight, you can see just how dark photofusion lenses go. And that is in response to the UV that is present all around me, which is invisible. And that's the problem with UV. You can't see it. You don't know when it's actually damaging you, but it does cause significant damage to our eyes and to our skin. And having glasses which have UV protection built in, it's probably the most, it's the single most important thing you can do to keep your eyes healthy long term. Now we know that cataracts and macular degeneration are both mainly caused by UV damage over time. So having UV protection and wearing it consistently reduces your chance of getting eye diseases like that. So you should look at it as Kind of a long-term investment in the health of your eyes. Now, I'm just about to reach the peak of this field. The sheep are running away from me. I'm really not that scary. And these guys can't wear sunglasses, but luckily we can. So, this is a very typical British autumn day, but it's not the kind of day that you would probably think to wear tinted lenses. And this is where another misconception about UV comes into play. So a huge misconception about UV is that it only affects us when we're in hot climates, when we go on holiday, for example. But that's really not true. UV is present all over the world, all throughout the year as well. So if you're outdoors, you are exposed to UV. But what about if it's not the sunniest day? What about if there's clouds? Well, UV penetrates the clouds. It's high enough energy to actually go straight through the clouds. The clouds do not block UV, and therefore you're still exposed to it just as much as if it was a sunny day. The weather conditions in the UK change really frequently. So having lenses which adapt to those conditions is actually really useful, particularly if you're going out on a day like today, walking. When I left the house, it looked more likely to rain than it did um, to sunshine. But over there, there's evidence, the sun's poking through the clouds. And when I hear people all the time telling me, well, we hardly ever get sunny weather. Why do I need a pair of sunglasses? We actually get bright weather all the time. Yes, we get our fair share of gloomy days and I hate them too, but we also get bright days. What we don't necessarily get are warm weather conditions, but you must not confuse warm weather 
with bright weather. When it's bright weather like today, if you want to see as clearly as possible, you definitely need tinted lenses. And that's where lenses like this can be really handy. When I was back in the woods, the lenses were only semi-tinted, but now that I'm out into the sunshine, they've gone as dark as I need them to go. And when they go to that extra darkness, I have that really cool red finish to the lenses, thanks to the DuraVision flash coating. So now that I'm back into the woods, it's not so bright, but I still need to see clearly. And that leads me on to my number one favourite thing about photofusion lenses. And that is the kind of half tint we still go to when you're in shaded conditions. Having a little bit of a tint gives you a little bit more contrast. It still keeps things really nice and clear for you. But it's not too dark. They're way lighter than your average sunglasses, so I can see absolutely fine. I can see all the beautiful colours of the leaves here in this autumn scene. My eyes just feel more comfortable and more rested behind lenses like this. I'm glad I found this spot, it's a nice spot. Let's carry on. I've arrived at this beautiful lake and I think this is the perfect opportunity to talk about the negative aspects of photofusion technology. What you don't get from it and why sunglasses might be the better choice. Well the number one thing is that these lenses aren't polarised so you don't get that protection from the reflected light that you get from water surfaces like we have here. That's a huge advantage to having polarised sunglasses is that they will completely eradicate that, making your eyes more comfortable and actually allowing you to see things that you can't see with the naked eye. The other thing I, I should probably mention is that not everyone wants to have tinted lenses all the time and even in the lighter state these lenses do have a slightly coloured finish to them. Now it's not that significant, it's not that prominent, but because these activate with UV, and as I've mentioned, UV is present all year round, there will be times when these lenses will be slightly tinted, you know, maybe 20, 30, 40% tinted, and you'd really prefer them to be clear. Finally, the big, big drawback with photofusion technology, and in fact all photochromic lenses, is that they don't work well, or if at all, inside a car. And the reason for that is because your car actually blocks UV, and because these activate with UV, there's nothing to activate the lenses, nothing to make them go dark. Now that doesn't mean you can't drive in them, they'll just always be clear, or at best, partially tinted. And sometimes when we drive, particularly in winter when the sun is low, we really need dark lenses to keep us safe. So those are my three drawbacks with photofusion technology. And that's why, to me, they're a perfect complement to someone who's already got a pair of glasses and a pair of sunglasses. If you've got a great pair of glasses and a great pair of sunglasses and you're looking for something extra, these are amazing. I would 100% recommend them. But if you're looking to buy them as a sunglass replacement or as your only pair of glasses, maybe they're not going to be for you. But having said that, if you understand the drawbacks and you really like the positive elements of them, and maybe you can only afford to have one pair of glasses, they're definitely worth considering. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've inspired you to invest in good UV protection for your eyes, whether that's with a proper pair of sunglasses or something like photofusion lenses. I think if you're going to go for photochromic lenses in 2020, you definitely should consider a mirror finish because it really completes the look. Particularly if you're choosing a relatively minimalist frame like this one, anything metallic really tends to contrast well against the mirrored coloured finishes that you can get. But if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please like this video, a lot of work went into making it for you and please subscribe because it really helps our channel grow. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.